everyone, welcome to Best Best Hair. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited that you're here because I'm so excited about my hair mail. I have the brand new style from Jacqueline Smith from the Style Collection. This is exclusively at Paula Young and this is Encore. So I have purchased Encore in three colors. First off, I just want to mention that I am wearing high-end fashion in the color SF1228, and that is also from Style by Jacqueline Smith. This one is a 100% hand-tied cap with a double monofilament top, so you can part it in any direction. Here's the lace. There's not a whole lot of extra room. My measurements are down below. I'm 22 and a half inches of round. So the hand tied run just pretty true average or maybe even a little bit petite average. So high end fashion currently is not available so I'm not doing a review on it. This is a new wig. I've only worn this just a couple times and it really is nice. You could keep checking back because a lot of times they do get new stock in. So that might be an option for you. This is beautiful. This would make a beautiful ponytail wig because the density on this is really low actually. All right, but let's get to this review of Encore. Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna show you is SF1228, which is Honey. Again, Style by Jacqueline Smith. Brand spanking new, just off the boat from Indonesia. <laughs> All right, let's take a peek. That's what she looks like. So I can smell a little bit of that silicone. Like I said, these are fresh off the boat. <laughs> so it comes inside out. And this is your basic cap wig. So it has the felt front. This is all probably going to have some permatease in there with the lace here and then open wefting here. All right, so we do have a little covered ear tab here and it does have the bendy metal stay. We also have the extended nape with the soft belt covering. There is no bendy metal stay in the nape, but we do have those Velcro closures. You can see a little bit of the permatease, but it's not bad. I think it's a pretty, I mean, we'll see when I get it on. All right, so let's go ahead and put it on. Yeah, this definitely fits larger than the hand tied. All right, so we can see the crisscross part. You can see with Honey the, the highlights and then how it graduates down to the brown underneath. So straight out of the box, we're a little bit shiny, but she has cute layers. To get her to look exactly like that is probably going to take a little bit of styling. I'm just going to give her a comb through. You know, when Jacqueline does the photo shoots, Jose Ebert is there styling her up in his salon. So, <laughs> I don't have Jose here styling. So, let's comb through. So, I'm feeling a little bit of permatease now as I'm playing. This is cute. I'm wearing this tomorrow. <laughs> you guys probably want to see another color. But yeah, this is really cute. And you know, like I said, the whole, the hand tied, the lace front, they're beautiful and they have a place. They're a lot more expensive for these cap features. You know, you buy something like this, well, you're upwards of $200. So, and that's, a, that's Paula Young now. For the same exact thing with somebody else's name on it we're talking four hundred dollars so it's it's really all in what you want in practicality and also your budget I think a basic cap wig is absolutely beautiful 
and it's super easy and super comfortable to wear. Now these for the sizing, quite large. I would compare this to the Paula Young VersaFiber line. Definitely pretty big head friendly and I have the wig cap on underneath. All right, let's look at another color. So I'm excited, I've never had this color. This is SF1316, which is Misty Mocha. So let's take a look at that. Ooh, Misty Mocha. So look at that, like that's a total ash, kind of an ash blonde. This might be a nice, I wanna do a video where I show like transitioning to gray colors. So this might be a good one in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Ooh, <laughs> that looks really white to me. It's so hard when you're just holding another color up to it. You know, I feel like they don't look a whole lot different. But it sure does once you put it on your head. So honey and Misty Mocha. So definitely an ash tone. I am going to mess this up and see what we can do. And like I said, I'm going to do a color comparison. And I want you to get the true color. So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do any rooting to it. I'm gonna just do this one on the side. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it goes over quite easily. Oh, that's actually pretty. Look at this color. I think there's some ladies in the group that wear this color. Yeah, definitely. This is a definite you want to transition to gray and you can certainly use water to loosen it up too you know to loosen up the fibers away from the permatease you can do that too so I'll just do that with water you know what this is a pretty color I mean, it, it has that sort of ombre effect. It's pretty. So I'm just, just trying to activate a little permatease here. I wanted to do this in real time. I know I fast forward a lot of times, but I want, sometimes I think it's helpful. I know there's a lot of new wig wearers out there. So I do think it's helpful for you to see the process when you first get a wig, you don't just take it out of the box and put it on. All right, so again, I definitely, if I wore this, which I will, because it's really pretty, I would, I would do just a little bit of rooting, and I probably would do the light brown. But not too much because I don't want to overwhelm it. Cute style. And not too hard to train it to go in a different direction. Should we look at this one all the way around just so we can see the color? Super pretty style. I feel like a Charlie's Angel. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. This color, you guys. Tell me in the description box below what you think about this. Misty Mocha. I don't know. I think, I think if I added a little bit of rooting, I could absolutely wear it. I just feel like for me, I need just a little bit of rooting. You, you honestly, the style itself does not need rooting. 
but I'm just saying for me personally, I just would feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, and I probably have to root a little bit now. My, my bio hair is starting to grow in, but honestly, that is my color. Look at that. <laughs> it's just kind of that white. 1223 HS8. This is Wildflower Honey. So I am excited. You know, I love this one. I have loved Bridget. I have been wearing Bridget almost every day. I love it. Love, love, love. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. So the Wildflower Honey is rooted. So this is why I know a lot of you have had questions if it was similar to SF1228. I think it's lighter. I think it's more like a sun-kissed rooted and a versa fiber. But we'll do this outside. I'll um, model them outside so that you can see in natural light. All right, I'm going to cut these tags. I'll be back with this one on. Yeah, these caps are quite large. I might actually, um, before I wear it, have to have to tighten it a little bit. They have nice, good, sturdy, um, bendy metal tabs here. So the ear tab is right here on me. So I think it's good. I think it's in a good place. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spritz this one with water a little bit so that I can just kind of separate those fibers a little bit from the permatease. Like, that was pretty darn easy, you guys. I mean, there's, wow. This is cute. This is just a shake and go. You know, I, th I love this color. Oh, my gosh. See, I love Bridget in this color, too. I just... There's a lot of dimension. It's not just that it's rooted. There's other colors besides. And you know how they run the rooting sort of all the way. I just feel like it really just gives it a natural, a natural look. I don't want you to feel like I'm a one trick pony. <laughs> and that I'm only ever doing the left part. Although that is how I wear it. You know, we wear what we feel comfortable in and what makes us feel confident. Oh my gosh. I love this. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And kind of fluff here on the crown. I kind of go like this just to kind of get the crown to stand up. So it gives you a nice profile. Oh, that's pretty. I love this length. It's a little bit shorter than Bridget. It, I love it though. It's a really nice length. Really nice. It's shorter than Misha, but it's longer than Mason. Really cute. All right, so I hope that you all enjoyed this look of the three colors of Encore, which is the new wig from the Style Collection by Jacqueline Smith that is available exclusively at Paula Young. I will include the link to Encore in the description box below. This is just a beautiful style, and you don't want to miss out on this one. I just am totally in love and so glad that I purchased these. So on the way out, I will show you all three of these colors outside on my front porch. 
so that you can get an outside look at the colors so you can make the right selection for yourself. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.